awesome. Here is a lacrosse ball. They are very hard. Would you like to feel how hard it is? Please. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Andrew, for participating in this demonstration. What we're going to do is put it behind this big muscle here called trapezius. So if you could just lift up. So we're staying away from the bony spine, placing it into the muscle block. And it should all feel nice already. Like, oh, that feels good. But then you're going to put pressure through by raising the arm above your head. It should feel stronger. Does it feel stronger, Andrew? It does. Yep. And then you'll just compress and decompress the muscle by waving the arm back and forward. Or you could do a royal wave, come out to the side a little bit. Come across and down. Or you might go, oh, I want it to be strong for a little while. Just have your arm up there, or you could rest it on your forehead. And you want to do that for about 90 seconds. Nothing much changes after 90 seconds. The reason you're coming on and off the ball is so you don't become too tolerant to the ball and then bruise yourself. So you can also, if you have tight low back, if you bend that right knee up and, and just roll slightly to the side, once again off the bony spine and you can come into some of that muscle bulk and you might want to find a point that's a bit stronger or softer or wherever you want it. And you're just rolling on and off like that. Compression of the muscle and decompression. And then the last one in this position is to, if you hold the ball, and pop it into your buttock. Andrew's been doing triathlons, so he's bound to have a tight buttock. So same thing, you're finding a pressure point, it feels good, and then you're compressing slightly more and rolling off it. Maximum 90 seconds. Maybe do the other side as well, and you're done. Thanks.